for joining me today, Disney friends. We've got another video in my collection series. I'm only going to show the collections that you want to see. This one's always so heavily requested, and that is my Disney ear collection. I take pride in my ear collection. I do have more ears than probably any one person should have, but I love them. I wear them all the time. You will never see me in the parks without ears. I just love my ears. I organize them very well, too. I've got solid colors. I've got lounge fly. I've got other patterns, and then I have small shop ears. So I think they're all pretty organized today. I think they're all here. There might be a pair or two that's not, but I think for the most part, they are all here. I am getting ready to pack for three different kinds of Disney trips. That's all I'll say. I'll have a trip announcement video coming soon. So as I go through these, I might pull some out today. So let's start with the solid color ears. Believe it or not, those are some of the ears I get the most compliments on because I wear them all the time, especially on these videos, like this blue pair, right? Isn't this a gorgeous blue pair? I feel like the Parks really hasn't had a pair like this. It's from my favorite small shop, Mouse Fitters. Now I'll have solid color ears like that with my solid colors, even though they're small shop, but these ears are so comfortable. Now I love ears, but I know I do not look good in a lot of pairs of ears. The puffier the bow, the worse it looks on me. It's not for everyone. It's definitely not for me, but I love like the ear to bow ratio. I love the placement of the ears on here. I don't think they look terrible on me. They're comfortable. They're very lightweight. So this is a blue pair. I will link her shop information down below in the description box. Always wait for a sale because she does a lot of sales. All right, let's get into it. We'll start with the classic pair that I feel like if you have in your collection, you probably have some kind of variation of this, and that is the black and red ones. These are from a couple of years ago. They don't have this particular one anymore, and I do get a lot of questions about it, but it was from the parks. Do you guys keep your little tags on? I cut them off, but sometimes they, they fray. I just feel like they're like CVS receipts now, but this is one of my most worn pairs for sure. I love this pair. I thought I was gonna look stupid on it and I got a pair for my mom, I think during the pandemic for her birthday and I tried it on a whim and I was like, wait, they don't look stupid and I've worn them so much since. In fact, my sister borrows them all the time. They are the coral ears. Oh, I still have the little tag on this one. I brought them on the cruise. I've worn them in Aulani. They are beautiful. They don't sell these in the parks either, but so gorgeous. And this bow is different and I feel like you can smush it a little bit. So if puffy bow is not your thing, you can actually like kind of take away from it a little bit. Also another one of my most worn ears. Here's another pair from Mouse Fitters. This is the Fantasia one. So you have this sparkle black, I mean, look at that. And then you've got like Mickey's hat, the Sorcerer Mickey hat bow. A lot of people tell me this reminds them of the Cowboys, which I'm a Giants fan, so you know doesn't always rub me the right way, but this is another pair and they're same style as these. When you order pairs from her, you know you're gonna look good on them. If you look good in one pair, you'll look good in all of them. That's how I say it. This pair was a gift and I don't look so great in. I have to like try them on again. This was from the 50th, the Golden Navy collection. I don't know what it was called, but it's Golden Navy. I do love this gold color ear and I do like the blue with it. it doesn't go with a lot but I have them and I must have worn them because the tag is cut off on them, but the bow is just a little poofy for my liking. I gotta see if I can work with it a little bit, but I do love this gold because I don't think I have a gold like this in my collection. Oh, this is one of my favorite, favorite pairs of ears and they don't really make too many like this. This was the cornflower blue. Like this is so soft here and that beautiful sequin. Like I like that they're not all sequiny because sometimes when you have sequins here, it gets caught in your hair, but this is a very comfortable pair. It goes with so much. I absolutely love this. Another one of my most worn ears. This one I got from one of you guys and I love it. I brought it to Aulani and I couldn't believe how well it went with so many. I don't know the name of this collection, but this was from last year. I think last summer I got these as a gift and I love this blue. Kind of reminds me of like a Lisa Frank blue almost. And then we've got some like gems on the bow. I think it was maybe, maybe it was the spring last year that I got these as a gift. I've seen them in the parks. I don't know if I saw them on my last trip. I honestly wasn't looking, but beautiful color blue. Then I have the Make a Wish Dreams Come True blue from 2020. I, this is just so pretty. I feel like the camera doesn't do a lot of these ears justice, but surprisingly, this is a different style and it doesn't look stupid on me, <laughs> which is always a plus. Now I know I have this pair of blue on, but see, they're different. They are different. 
and it goes so great with the spirit jersey and quite a few things that I have. Then another pair from Mouse Fitters. This is a light blue. You can actually, what's really cool on Mouse Fitters, you can have like an ear color and a separate bow color, which I do have a pair of those, I'll show you. So you can customize it, which is really cool. Then one of my favorites, this is such a popular pair, Arendelle Aqua. I got these the last time I was in Disneyland in 2019 and it's a memory. They're just, the color is so beautiful. This is back when ears were still a little painful though, so they're not the most comfortable pair in the world, but um, I love them. They're so beautiful. As you can see, I classify them like by color. So now we're moving into the purples. I've got a light and a dark purple from Mouse Fitters. I probably wear this light pair the most out of my purple ears. Look how beautiful that is. Then I have this. I almost decluttered this a few years ago and I'm glad I didn't because actually it didn't look as dumb as I thought on me. This was the lilac pair. Again, it's like the Make-A-Wish ears where it's like a hard ear and then like a shiny like vinyl. The bow is what I was concerned about, but it really is not that bad. And then I have this pair. I don't look great in it, but it was a gift, so I don't want to get rid of them. But um, yeah, they, it's not... I don't know. I feel like I look kind of stupid in them. The ears, I thought they were going to be like the ears that did that thing where they go up and down, but no, it's like the bow is big, the ear, I don't know. I don't know. I got to see if I can make, I got to see if I can make them work. As you can see, the tags are, are still on them, as is the CVS receipt. These are from this year, earlier this year, I want to say. Time is just, it's all blurring together, man. Okay, and then on the other side, I, this is like the storage thing I have for these. This is one of my favorites. In fact, I kind of want to order another pair like this. It is this black and white pair. Like how classic Steamboat Willie is this? So this is from Mouse Fitters. Again, it's the same kind of ear. This is just the regular black, not the sparkle black. And we have a velvet bow, this white velvet bow. Oh, I need to fix it. It's coming undone a little bit in the back. But this is such an amazing pair that goes with so much. I think I, I want to order, I don't know if I want to order like the same color, but like a different velvet bow style because they are just so amazing. There's two kinds of blacks. You can get the sparkle black like I showed with this pair, see, or this black and I like this like regular matte black. Also from Mouse Fitters, I gave these away because you guys always compliment them. This yellow. It's such a fun pop of color. It goes with so much. And again, it's mouse fitters, so you know. Then we've got this pair from, I wanna say last May, the hot pink pair, which is so fun. Again, I was concerned about the bow, but it's not too poofy and I just love this color so much. This is what I was talking about from mouse fitters where you can pick the two different ears. I have pale pink and rose, I think were the colors. And like, doesn't that scream Sleeping Beauty, like Disneyland to you? This is from last Valentine's Day. These ears flew out, but then I saw they brought them back for a little bit this year, the Valentine's ears. My bow got a little funky in packing, so now they don't look the greatest. And these do hurt, I will say. These are not the most comfortable ears in the world, but I had to get them. It was like my first Valentine's Day there, and that pink is gorgeous. This is all like embroidered on. Then I have two other hot pink pairs. This one was a gift. This is like a darker hot pink. It's probably, I probably don't need all these hot pink ears, but I am who I am. These are from Mouse Fitters. And this is the Imagination Pink pair that I got. One of my friends got it for me before I went to Disneyland the last time. This is a different kind of style too. Um, are they cheaply made? A little bit, but I do love them and they are comfortable on. It's a different kind of sequin on the bow, if you can tell. Then I've got the Bordeaux ears, right? That's what they were called. These have the sequins that go up and down and this beautiful velvet bow. Love these ears. These are definitely like a food and wine, November, December holiday kind of pair. Then we have this tie dye one that my friend got me and I didn't realize all the patterns were different. When I saw them in the parks, I was like, oh, look at that. This is definitely like a Lisa Frank kind of a pair beautiful. They hurt. That's why I don't wear them too often. And then I have this pair that I call the Flo's ears because tell me that doesn't look like Flo, right? Flo colors. Disneyland's on my brain, guys. So it's got this like green and pink combo with a hard bow. Very different. That was one bin done. I do have this little um, bin. It's beautiful, right? From Michael's. Um, these are like my like silver gold kind of ears. So these are from Mouse Fitters. This is, um, I forgot which 
color gold it is. They have so many golds, but it's somewhere in between gold and like rose gold, right? Look at that, it's so beautiful. Then I actually really love these. I got these at Cast Connections in 2019 with the Magic Mirror color that they had. And I actually wear them a lot more than I ever thought. They were $4 at Cast Connections. So I had to get them. And I'm so glad that I did. Then, uh, no ear has had more pandemonium than these, the OG Rose Gold. And this is a beautiful, not only pair of ears, but story behind this. My friend, John, John, rest in peace. He's a cast member and he got these for my sister and I, and it was a whole big thing. And it just, it's a really beautiful memory and I'm so happy to have them. They do hurt though. Oh, do they hurt, but they look so good on. Then I have this, hmm, I wanted to say Briar Rose, but I don't think these are the Briar Rose ones. These are from last year. They like almost like a Briar Rose ear and then this like pink, light pink satin bow. Oh, it's so pretty. Yes. Is it a poofy bow? Yes. Do I sometimes look stupid in it? Yes. But do I wear it? Yes. <laughs> then we have these from the 50th. Pink and purple are my favorite colors and I'm a rose gold girl. So I feel like you get all of that in here. So beautiful. Then these one of my friends Carissa got for me. It's the silver and gold with the castle. Do you remember these? This is from 2019, I think the beginning. Oh no, 20. Yeah, 2019. Got the castle there. They had a Sleeping Beauty pair as well. Then we have these from the 50th, which yeah, they look stupid on me, but you know. They look stupid when my hair is up, I should say that, because the bow is so poofy. So when I wear it down, it's not as bad, and these do light up, as you can see. These were kind of a big deal um, during the 50th. Then I have this, I think, was like kind of a holiday pair, but honestly, you can wear them whenever. It's got silver and gold in the bow and then this like sagey blue frost, like a gray kind of, it's, it's so many different colors. It's beautiful for the holidays. My bow got kind of weird, but it's beautiful without the, without it being the holidays too. And then the last pair in here is the Mickey 90th ears. And this bow actually does, you can remove it. This is like a, this is a gold gold but you can remove the bow if you just want to wear ears. But I look stupid without the bow. I look stupid with the bow, without the bow. It's a whole mess. <laughs> Let's talk about some of my pattern ears and we'll start with lounge fly ears, which in my opinion are the most comfortable ears. They don't always look great, but they're the most comfortable. Um, so we've got this pair from last year with this light blue. They had a backpack of it. Um, Oh, Mr. Bluebird Splash Mountain. Look at this color bow. I want ears like all in that. It's so beautiful. We've got the castle. Then on the back, we've got a bunch of hitchhiking ghosts. And all the lounge fly ears have a lounge fly plaque on the side, but they are truly comfortable. Then I have my 50th ears that are just, oh, I love them. Probably the most complimented in the parks. People always want them. The pattern was different on all of them. Trying to find Goofy was a nightmare, but I absolutely love them. And surprisingly, they go with so much. So when I look at like this pair, I'm like, do I really need another blue and gold one? I don't think I do. Then I have this pair with a backpack to match. Actually just wore these on my last trip. Big Al, gotta love Big Al. I love that they have Disney World and Disneyland stuff here. Like we've got Mr. Toad's ride vehicle, Cinderella's castle, Harold's on there, the um, pirate with the pig. I believe the placement was the same on all of these. Again, love the blue, obviously. Well, that would have gone with today's outfit. I actually have a Hercules dress on today. You can't really tell that it's Hercules, but I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. It was from Hot Topic maybe, or Box Lunch back in the day. This was the first pair of lounge flight ears I got. These were so super expensive, but a cast member got them for me and it matches the very first lounge fly I ever got. I just love these. Oh, maybe this was the pair I brought on my last trip. I love that there's a black bow with it because it ties a lot more outfits in. Now I know it's very similar to that other pair, but you know, I am who I am. So cute. Oh, I don't know why this is in with my lounge fly, but here we are, the Disney 100 ears. I feel like I might look stupid in them. I need to uh, kind of play around with them. 
I'm going to a bunch of Disney 100 events, so I should probably keep these to the side. Let's see, I love the color combo though. This 100th line, the silver, like gray, purple, that is my bedroom. Like that's the, my aesthetic to a T. I feel like I have other lounge fly ones. Are they in here? No, I don't know. I think these ears are gorgeous. The annual pass holder ones. They don't go with as much as I would love for them to go. This blue, pink, gold. It's got the Walt Disney World annual pass holder logo, and it says Walt Disney World on there. I love these ears. I definitely wore them on Cinco de Mayo. These are my Mexico ears. Now, they do have these still, but not in this color variation. They have white and light pink and light blue, but this this is Mexico to me, and I went to Mexico earlier this year, so like actual Mexico. Cancun so it just has new meaning to me I absolutely love them I think this is my favorite like animal print pair that I have the giraffe ears I just love the colors I don't think they sell these anymore actually I don't know when the last time I saw animal print ears was maybe it was this pair that I got the cheetah which is really cool because you do have hidden mickeys in the cheetah print and I love that black bow again but these these hurt a little bit on the last trip I wore them, I was like, ooh, I got a headache. Oh, a favorite. These like flew out. The Haunted Mansion wallpaper ears. They've had quite a few of these. This is the one with like the silk background and then this like velvet print over it with the velvet bow, the Haunted Mansion logo. Actually was able to get these at the Disney store in 2020 during the pandemic before it closed. I was able to get one for me, one for my sister, and one for my mom, which was awesome. I feel like these might look stupid on me, but we've got them. Definitely got to pull them aside. The Disneyland pair, someone sent these to me. Um, I love the colors, and I love that they have the Disneyland sign, but I just feel like they might look stupid on me. So we need to find that out. <laughs> Here's a pair that's, it's a little much, but um, my mom and I got these to match these mini ears her blue skirt outfit, the, the daisy on top. It's got a poofy bow. That's the thing that gets me. I rarely wear these, I will say. If they had, if they didn't have the daisy, maybe I'd wear it more, but still the bow is a little poofy for me. Then I have these Festival of the Arts. Nope, that's not what it was, ink and paint. I wore them to Festival of the Arts, but ink and paint, I loved this line and I do paint shoes. Some of them are up here, um, so it's kind of fitting. And I love that Mr. Toad's on there. And then this was a very special memory. Yes, these are crazy ears, but back in 2013, I think it was, on September 13th, it was Friday the 13th, my best friend Alyssa and I went to Hollywood Studios for their Unleash the Villains event. And it was incredible. And they came out with all those villain ears and we got Queen of Hearts. There's a ridiculous bow on there. Um, the, the cards, they're huge, but man, what a beautiful, beautiful memory. They had Maleficent ones that came out that day, Ursula ones, which I did declutter those because I never wore them, wore them and they were so huge on me. Um, so I did declutter those. Oh, I love this pair. They had this with like different country bows, but I had to get the bubblegum wall with Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth is bay. Landscapers always have to be out when I film in this room, <laughs> always. Then these I got pretty recently as a gift, the Tiki Room pair. They're a different kind of material. These came out for, is it part of the 100th? I don't know now. We got a Dole Whip in there, more of the birds on the back. I love the Tiki Room. Love it, love it, love it. This pair I got from a friend. It is the Vacation Club ears. I wore these to Moonlight Magic in, what was that, February? At Epcot. Then I have two Aulani pairs. This one my sister got for me and we actually got the shirts to match it when we were there but they didn't have the ears and she found these and I just cannot believe it with a goofy on the front. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, I cannot wait to wear these. It's summer so I gotta I gotta crank them. Crank them out? No I gotta pop them. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. They are uh, Tori Richard and they are an Aulani exclusive. And then these are also Tori Richard. Um, we got these the first day. Goofy, the teal bow. Yeah, I love these. And they say Aulani on the side. Do these say Aulani on the side? I don't think they do. I mean, you could wear these outside of Aulani too. Then I've got two cruise line pairs. Man, last year was incredible. I got to go on my first Disney cruise. I got to go to Aulani. Like, 
two months apart it was wait to see how close all these upcoming trips are gonna be oh these go nice with my nails so this was the pair I bought because my sister made me a skirt that went with it and I love how all the anchors are like Mickey Minnie Donald goofy it's a puffy red bow it is but you know I, I made it work <laughs> and then it says Disney Cruise Line on the side and then Disney actually gave this pair to me and it's like these life preservers and the classic polka dot bow and again it says Disney Cruise Line on the side you know they're crazy ears but actually I don't look as dumb as I thought I would I tried them on in the store the day before and I looked terrible and then they gave them to me and my sister's like they don't look as dumb anymore and she lets you know when things look dumb trust me all right let's end with some small shop ears these are from Ever After by Patty We've got a Goofy pair. Goofy is my favorite character. I adore him. The bow I'm not a huge fan of that she uses because it's like tiny and big. So her bows aren't my favorite. This bow is not as bad, but like look how gorgeous these are. Cogsworth. I'm a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. That's my favorite Disney movie. And I just, oh my God, I love those colors. Okay, I opened up uh, this small shop box and I found more lash fly ears. These are the Grand Floridian ears. Look at those colors. It's got the Grand Floridian logo in there with that gold Mickey and this teal bow. I got these in February. I think this is the last, this is the most recent pair of ears that I got. We were staying there and I just love them. They're so comfortable. These look so dumb on me. I might have to get rid of these, but I just love Mickey waffles so much. So they are the Mickey waffle ears. It's got a slab of butter in the middle. The bow is what just doesn't work for me. I wonder if I can detach the bow and put, maybe I can ask my friend Brittany if she could put a different bow on this because they're just, they're not great, but I love Mickey waffles so much. Oh. I'm gonna put those on the side and see if she could do something with that. And then I got this pair as well, the Main Street Electrical Parade. Again, the bow doesn't look great on me. I need to see what I'm gonna do with those. But it has music notes and I'm, you know, a huge fan of that. Oh, and then I have this, <laughs> this is not Small Shop. This is from a million years ago. Actually, I think I got these at Property Control when I worked for Disney, this cheetah pair. Now I don't have, there's no bow on it, but I can wear my hair up in a bun with it, which that works. My friend Brittany, who I was just talking about to fix the bow, has made me so many beautiful ears over the years. This is my Cinderella mice pair. I love Gus Gus, one of my favorite characters. She hand stitched all of that. Susie and Perla reminds me of going to Disney in the 90s, the glass slipper on the back. Her ears are quite comfortable and quite light. Then I used to have a Disney podcast. Um, might be having another one soon. I know I said that earlier this year, but um, health stuff kind of got in the way. And the guy I was supposed to be doing it with, I don't know that we're going to do it together anymore. So um, anyway, so my podcast was Mouseketeer Radio. So she went and made me Mouseketeer Radio ears. That was our logo. And it's got a microphone and my name. It says, have a Disney day. I do work in radio, so this is, you know, very, very special to me. And speaking of radio, every time I go down with my radio station, I bring these ears. They are my Walk 97.5 ears. So that is the station that I get to do all these broadcasts with. And then she put Goofy in headphones because he's my fave. Don't you love that? And like the really cool pattern that she picked too. So far they've gone with basically everything I've worn for broadcast, so so far so good. She also made me a pair of Edna Mode ears because Edna's another favorite character. This bow is a little wonky on me. Those all the ears she made me? I think those are all the ears she made me. Um, these I got from a lovely subscriber for the 50th and these ears are so comfortable. Look at this 50th pattern. Love that we've got Spaceship Earth on there, Tree of Life, more Spaceship Earth, the castle. Beautiful. I love how lightweight some of these small shop ears are. These are lightweight, but they fall off so easily. Oh man, I definitely wore these a lot, especially the first couple times I went to Disneyland. We've got this Disneyland fabric. Oh, sorry, my stomach is growling. These were from Ears Come True, which I don't know is a shop on Etsy anymore. Also, the shop that sent me these ears is not in business anymore. I want to say it was 
ear boutique i could be wrong they are falling apart i have to fix them but they are this monorail pair which i love the walt disney world monorail but this has to be fixed um yeah this is a great pair okay and then the rest are all from yes the rest are all from mouse fitters so we've got a wally and eve pair how fun is this one people have thought it's c3po and r2d2 which yeah then we've got speaking of r2d2 and what's cool with these is like you can pick different colors if you want but i wanted the classic like r2 ears then this is cool because i don't have a lot of fabric ears from her we have this paris pair paris um is like my dream destination to go to in life so i got these to manifest and i love the colors of it i actually wore these though when i did the um ratatouille preview when remy's ratatouille adventure was opening then i have the child grogu with all his disney snacks and starbucks it's a fun pair then my heart captain america my favorite marvel character might have to pack these although when i go to disneyland i think it's like two days after rogers the musical is over i hope they extend it maybe i'll bring these to to manifest it i also have a pair of iron man ears which i do love iron man too but um this one is weird because it's the gauntlet so it looks a little weirder on and then last but not least one of my favorite characters Buzz Lightyear. So fun, these ears, and I love the back because it says Andy. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. I know this is a long video. You guys wanted to see it though, so that is my ear collection. More collection videos are on the way. Let me know which collections you would like to see, and lots of trips, lots of vlogs coming soon. We've got some incredible opportunities coming up. I don't want to announce them just yet because I never want to jinx it, but I am so blessed to uh, be going to a lot of different places. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for hauls on the way because I'm looking at some stuff right now from small shops. Wait till you guys see the small shop haul. I'm, I'm blown away. Thank you for watching. I hope you were doing well and let me know in the comments below what you were up to this summer. Thanks so much for watching. I am Christina Kay. Have a Disney day.